pounds and put it on and see if it happens. Well, we're at 105 pounds. <laughs> I had to use my fingers. <laughs> so we have roughly 100 pounds of force between these two. Now we'll just take these back off again. Put them on the back. Put them in the back. Now we made another little unit here that we specially contrived. This time we have the two magnets together and we're going to push down on them. How much force does it take to push the two together? The first thing we're going to do is take the 50 pounder. We're going to put a 50 pound weight on that. And we will see what happens. Does it bring them completely together? No. If you look, there's still a space here. They're still not totally together. Marilyn, you put your 25 pounder on. We still do have some space between them, but when we put the last 25 pounds on, 100 pounds, now it all comes together. So you have 100 pounds of force to pull them apart, 100 pounds of force to push them together. These are very, very, very powerful magnets. Now the next thing I'd like to show you is how does a motor run? How do you get a motor to go around? Well, you have magnets that are attracted and not attracted. So they push and they pull. Well, normally you take electricity, you would electrify a magnet by running electricity and you would magnetize a material. The material then would pull toward another magnet or another piece of metal. And then you demagnetize it so that it'll go past it so you can continue to magnetize, demagnetize, and keep a wheel moving. But you cannot do that with permanent magnets because you can't unmagnetize them. So the reason why they use electricity for electromagnetic motors is so they can magnetize, demagnetize in the proper fashion to get it to run and turn a shaft. Now we're going to show you that you can do that with permanent magnets if you know how to finesse them. David, these are permanent magnets and there's a permanent magnet at the bottom so that we can use attraction and, re and repulsion in a proper fashion. We're going to turn this wheel for you now, this shaft, using regular permanent magnets. There's not plugged into anything. There's no electricity in this whatsoever, but the wheel is turning. Thank you, David. So those are some of the illustrations of the power in magnets and the way that they can be finessed and used. We can't get into anything proprietarily about exactly the way we're using them in the Hummingbird and the Sundance motor, but uh, I'll show you that, some more footage of that, uh, and you'll be able to see them operate. Most electric motors create rotation by using electricity to briefly magnetize and then demagnetize metals and control the push and pull of magnetic forces. By timing when the metals are magnetic and when they are not, they can make the shaft on a wheel rotate. It's that rotating shaft that drives a generator. Normally this cannot be done with permanent magnets, even though it would require no electricity. That's because the permanent magnets, like the name suggests, remain magnetic all the time. Unlike electromagnets, they cannot be turned on and off. We are developing a way to use a small amount of electricity from a battery to unlock the unlimited power that exists in permanent magnets. When that happens, we not only can get the shaft of the generator turning, but we also can feed electricity back to the batteries and keep them charged. We built a 10 horsepower model of the process and tested it before 45 live audiences nationwide. During those tests, we measured the input from the batteries. We also used a professional metering device to measure the work that we were getting out of the motor. The input from the batteries was measured at 450 watts, while the output of the motor was tested at 3.1 horsepower, which is the equivalent of 2,300 watts. We were therefore able to prove that the output of the Hummingbird motor exceeded the input of the motor by a ratio of 5 to 1. In other words, the Hummingbird put out five times as much power as it received from the batteries. The extra energy was supplied by the permanent magnets. It is our belief that the project will soon be completed. 
When it is, we will be able to put the hummingbird and the Sundance together and begin manufacturing and distribution. This is a model of what they will look like, completed and ready for installation in your home. They're about the size of a window air conditioner and can be installed anywhere inside or outside your home. The International Tesla Electric Company, or ITEC, is so convinced of the viability of their permanent magnet motor that in late 1999, they sponsored a nationwide tour of 45 meetings in 30 states. This ad, placed in USA Today, was an open invitation to all scientists to come to a live test and demonstration of the technology. The scientists were also invited to bring their own test meters and measure the devices themselves. At 45 shows, the figures Mr. Lee gave were verified, witnessed by thousands of technical and non-technical people. At every stop, citizens were amazed by the incredible demonstrations they saw. Prior to this tour, Better World Technology did a private show for the Congress of the United States and every government official in Washington, D.C., even the President and the U.S. Attorney General, were invited to attend. That was just before a Congress passed legislation to deregulate the electric utilities in 1996. Better World Technologies develops the technology and the International Tesla Electric Company will use it to take advantage of deregulation. The company is hoping soon to complete the final model so iTech can put it on homes and commercial projects. The company decided that the right size for what iTech has in mind is a unit that can produce 30 kilowatts per hour. The Sundance generator can produce one kilowatt per winding and has 30 windings, so it's perfect for the job. But the 10 horsepower Hummingbird motor is too small to power a 30 kilowatt generator. So Better World Technologies is currently working on a 50 horsepower prototype of the same style as the proven 10 horsepower Hummingbird model. To meet everyday needs like heating, cooling, hot water, appliances, and light, an all-electric household uses an average of 2 kilowatts per hour or a little over 17,000 kilowatts per year. Once installed in such a household, the Hummingbird Sundance unit is expected to produce 30 kilowatts per hour, enough to power 15 all-electric homes. In this way, a percentage of homes can be modified to provide the power to all homes through the common grid system and, in effect, decentralize power production in America. Our country would be considerably less vulnerable to accidents and emergencies that cause power failures and outages. ITEC intends to give you, the homeowner, 26,000 kilowatts of free electricity every year as an allotment for letting the company use your home as access to the grid. That's 50% more power than you need for all your energy needs. The excess electricity produced will be sold back to the power companies. The unit will remain the property of ITEC, but your power will be free for as long as ITEC can sell the excess power, possibly for life. The quiet, non-polluting generator will require no outside energy. The unit will be serviced and maintained at absolutely no cost to the household where it's installed. Obviously, it's to the advantage of iTech to keep it operational, because the company makes its money selling the excess power from these units. If the units aren't running properly, iTech can't make money. For homeowners, there's nothing to buy and nothing to lose. iTech has investment capital to provide the hardware, so it's a good deal for everyone. The electric company gets low-cost, non-polluting electricity for resale to other homes. The participating homeowner gets their power for free. And iTech sells the power that costs them nothing to produce to the electric company. And everyone gets rid of the acid rain we're currently dumping into our environment and the sulfur oxides that coal-fired plants are putting into our drinking water. Win, win, win. As you've just seen, there is a plan to efficiently generate an abundance of safe, non-polluting electricity. It offers Americans and others all sorts of benefits. The international Tesla Electric Company and Better World Technologies is offering us all a much better alternative to the energy situation we now face. For those of you who act quickly, this is the chance to make your own declaration of energy independence. You may never have to pay an energy bill again, ever. 
To accomplish this, we invite you to sign up to be one of the sites we use to send power into the grid. It will be perfectly safe. You will have double protection from power outages because you get all your power from the generator before any of it is sold over the grid. You are still connected to the outside grid, and if anything happens to this equipment, the power will still be able to flow to you from the electric company. And it works both ways. iTech would pay your electric bill for any power you need due to a failure in our equipment. The hardware we soon hope to deliver will be installed by a licensed electrician who will get all the necessary permits. We will own and operate the generator, much like the electric company now owns the meter at your home. iTech will pay all the expenses. You are required to pay nothing. It is truly free to you. Now, this is not a something-for-nothing program. You're helping us help everyone.